As we've been reporting on the grim situations in both Sampson County and in Maine, you may have some questions about why we, as a news organization, use one particular term to describe the killing somewhere while avoiding it in another. WREL investigative data journalist Ali Ingersoll explains the definition of mass murder and looks at the statistics of that crime in the U.S. We report on violence across our region, state, and country far too often, and that might make it seem like it's pretty common. But in reality, it isn't. Both of the incidents we've been talking about today, the five people killed in Sampson County and at least 18 in Maine, are defined as mass murders. Now, these are different than mass shootings, so we wanted to take some time and look into this and explain it to you. According to the Gun Violence Archive, a mass shooting is when at least four victims, not including the shooter, are shot and they're either injured or they're killed. So far this year, there have been 566 of those. That's about two every single day around the country. Only about 5% of mass shootings are mass murder, so they're far less common. The FBI defines these as four or more victims killed in a single incident, not including the shooter. There have been 32 mass murders so far this year, and that's fewer than one a week. So the fact that we had two of these within 24 hours is really rare. The data is showing that we're seeing these happen more often, though. I analyzed the Gun Violence Archive database, looking between January 1st and October 26th for every year over the last decade. There's been a steady increase over the last few years, with 2020 being the outlier given the pandemic. And since 2013, the number of mass murders in the country have almost doubled. Here in our state, we have had eight mass murders in the last 10 years, which have resulted in 36 people dying. For WREL News, I'm Allie Ingersoll.